A recent car fire on a Lancaster County highway showcasing the new challenges fire departments and towing companies are facing as more and more electric vehicles are on the roadways. Fox 43's Alyssa Kratz has more on why they're both concerned about the future. These photos show the aftermath of a Monday night fire on Route 222 in Lancaster County. A trailer carrying several cars went up in flames, causing two electric vehicles on board to catch fire. Dealing with EVs is challenging for our, our industry right now because there's very little information that we're getting from uh, vehicle manufacturers. So it's something that we're learning as we go. Firefighters say electric vehicle fires need more water to extinguish. There's additional resources involved there with, uh, you know, using uh, multiple fire trucks, mutual aid. Uh, to take care of the problem. So then you throw that on top of, you know, our decline in the volunteer fire service and where are the resources going to come from. They also require new protective gear like special gloves and more training. So there's a lot of additional uh, time involved in combating an electrical vehicle fire. And, uh, you know, at the end of the day, that comes back on us as the first responders to deal with it. And the danger doesn't stop once the flames are out. We have to continue to monitor and the recommendation is for 45 minutes. Then you can release the car to the tow company. Two days later, the cars now sit in containment bins on a Wayne's towing lot where they have to be monitored for 30 days in case they reignite. We're checking for odors. We're checking for noises, uh, any types of leaks. And then we're also using thermal imaging cameras to check temperatures throughout the car. On Tuesday night, the Tesla was still functioning 24 hours after it was burnt to a crisp. The subject expert that we spoke to uh, when we did our risk analysis on the Tesla uh, told us that the likelihood of the Tesla reigniting within the next seven days is very high. It all adds up to more time and resources being put in by the towers. McDade also expects insurance will eventually catch on. We expect to see that come um, in, in the near future with insurance companies where they're going to be elevating uh, insurance rates for tow companies that are doing the storage of EV vehicles. And that will translate to bigger bills for EV owners. It's something that uh, tow companies are, are needing to charge for as well because our exposure is much higher and uh, the amount of time that it takes to uh, deal with these EV vehicles, uh, it, it, it takes a lot of time. Alyssa Kratz, Fox 43 News.